Hello and welcome everyone, Kenny here, Friday Beer Reviews. However, today is Tuesday, today is election day, and we're going to have some belching beaver on election day. So we're going to have this beer, we're going to walk down to the voting center, we're going to place my vote, and that's about all I'm going to talk about politics today. So at the time of watching this, at the time of recording this, I don't know who uh, won, but maybe we'll know who won by the time you see it. Uh, you can see Toki's behind me there hanging out. Beautiful 70 degree day in November. Okay, anywho, Belching Beaver. Yes, we've done this one on the channel before if you've uh, seen that video. Pretty funny, pretty stupid introduction I made, but. Oh my goodness. Wow, so right away. Damn, right away, that smell, that aroma is just epic. A lot of a lot of fruit and tropical flavorness. Oh man, that is epic. So as you guessed it from my channel, this is a hazy India pale ale. And yeah, we're at it again. Belching Beaver Brewery. 6.7% alcohol by volume. We got one pint. Store cold, drink fresh. Duh. This one was brewed in September or packaged in September, so we're not old, but uh, I don't know. I'm probably not going to be able to find much information out of this one, but oh, maybe this one is getting a little old. There's a lot of floaties in here. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of a lot of like citra citrus style fruit flavor out of this one it's and the aroma ah, it smells like i just opened up a fresh orange and a grapefruit and oh man that is very vibrant on my nose and my mouth and my palate it's got a very nice smooth taste to it too it's just it's delightful so far As you can see, I am also working my way through it pretty rapidly already. So, testament to its uh, flavor because and its drinkability, because this one is moving quick. That is a very, I just happened to notice, it's a very bright white head. That is like stunning white. Wow. It's like, at least the way the light's hitting it right now, it's like, Ross in uh, Friends when he had his teeth whitened. Ugh. Man. Yeah, there's like almost like no bitterness to it at all. Like I don't even get anything really. This one's smooth. Oops, I'm not supposed to do that anymore, am I? Whoops, sorry. Anywho, back to the beer. So, high expectations. We got kind of like a Cheech and Chong looking vibe in here with their low rider. I don't know what, I guess I don't know what the uh, whole backstory is on it, but yeah, I like these guys. These guys seem to make some good stuff. So, <sighs> I'll probably get a little bit uh, buzzed high off this one myself. Mm -hmm. Maybe, we'll see. Yeah, this one just has like a, a whole bunch of fruitiness to it, honestly. Like that's that's the main takeaway here is a lot of oranginess, a lot of like a little bit of grapefruitiness, and just a lot of just a lot of those, you know, mandarin, you know, type tangerine-ish type things. You know, it's it's very juicy actually for this style, I think, but I like it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you noticed, I'm rocking Pure Paw Print Brewing. Big shout out to those guys, love their beer, love their brewery. Definitely check him out if you haven't. I don't know why he's complaining. It's a beautiful day outside, he should be loving this, but I guess it is fall, the grass is... The grass is not very fresh anymore, unlike this beer. <laughs> very refreshing beer, man. Yeah. 
It is. It honestly is. I'm, I'm not. The more I'm getting into it, the more like, the more almost like screwdriver ish or mimosa ish, mimosa ness I'm getting out of it. Almost. It's. It is quite juicy. Okay, I might have to find this one I just read here. Hazer's gonna haze. Oh, love that. That sounds great. But yeah, this one. Pineapple. Pineapple. That's a good one too. I wasn't really getting so much like distinct pineapple, but I think the way it blends in, yeah, the mandarin and the tangerineness kind of, you know, it's, it's it is a sweeter profile for sure. Hmm. Yeah. Everything they're saying in here that I'm reading for the first time is very true. Pillowy, soft mouthfeel. Yeah, it's super light and just airy and just, oh. And yeah, a lot of, like I said, a lot of juice, a lot of fruit. So if you like juicy beers, you like you like IPAs that are not very bitter, not overwhelming, not hop, super hoppy or anything, this is definitely, definitely one you need to check out. This one is, yeah, I think I can, I think I'm starting to pick up on the pineapple now. Mm. Yes, very tropical tasting. I like it. It's perfect for a November day, mid seventy day. This is perfect. I like it a lot. Anywho, it's thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy my beer reviews and big thanks to everyone that is subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. We hit a thousand subscribers, and honestly, I never thought I'd really get that day, but that is the pessimist in me. So I really appreciate all of you that do subscribe and do watch my stuff. Big shout out to you. You know who you are. And yeah, I got to figure out something to do to celebrate that. I still have to do that video too. So a lot of stuff in the pipeline though. But uh, thank you so much for watching everyone. And be well, take it easy. Cheers. Meow. Yeah.